Hey, I'm Laura Jensen with Mayshon Preservation, where we only work with the registered Mayshon. So you've probably seen my video that talks about how we choose our ear tags here. You may have also seen the video we just released in castrating piglets. This is one that we've just castrated. He's had his tetanus shot, and now we're ready to ear tag him to put him back in the herd. So why ear tags matter is once these guys are out there running around and we need to know who's who or what to catch, ear tags are the way that we do that. So for anything that is a meat pig on my farm, I use this type of tag. It is a small rectangle, color is irrelevant, but this shape to us always indicates that we have a feeder pig or something that is destined for meat. Um, that can also be females on my farm. It's not always barrows or castrated males. So this is our indicator. So we've talked about the gun and how we load shots in the gun. I actually have two male pieces. There we go, one female, one male. So this piece with the tip, you always want a metal tip for these pigs because the ears are tough and this metal tip means the difference in it going through or not. So that loads on there. This, if you look at how this is made, this fits in there now you are ready to go so on this one it's not about the number so we don't need to think about well how's it going on him so that we can read the number once he's out in the herd so we're just going to put this one in and then he'll be ready to go now one of the other things that we choose to do on our farm is we use ears to indicate whether it's male or female so because we know this one is a male we want to ear tag the left ear so that we know if it's running by us we don't have to look at the back we know that it's a male so we're going to do the left ear on this guy. Now his ears are still kind of small. He's actually only about 10 days old. Um, so this is a lot of tag for him. You don't want to tag on the tip, which is what a lot of people tend to do because it looks like easy pickings. These will get torn out faster than the ear tags that are higher up. So you also don't need to get all the way up here because that's a little harder on the pig. So I always look in between. So you can see here what I'm going to aim for. This is a no, this is a no. So we wanna be right in here on the ear tag. So I'm aiming for right here. So we take our gun, you put the tag right there where my tip is, and you squeeze until you can't squeeze anymore and you're gonna hear a snap. He's tagged, you pull it out, he's done. All right, let me know if you have any questions. We're gonna keep tagging piglets and move on here. I'm gonna turn it just, I don't know, I just don't want it flopping in his little eye right now. Right here where we talked about before, I've applied a little bit of pressure to hold it. Snap, you do typically have to pull it out of the back side there and he's ready to go. Oh, he did not like that. And left ear, male, gonna turn these. Come in here, the spot that we talked about, pressure applied, snap, take it off, slip it out, all done. Uh, okay. <laughs> so if you remember when we were castrating piglets, we had one that only had one testicle drop. And what we have decided is that uh, he is going to be destined for the meat uh, program because we don't want him to reproduce that in his offspring. Out of the hundreds of pigs that I've seen, this is the first piglet that I've had in the Mayshine that nothing was dropped. So um, Aaron marked him on the back so that we could see in the tub which one he is. And that's always a great idea because when you look down in there, they look all the same. It's really hard to tell which one is which. So we knew that um, this little Aluma spray mark, which will wear off, is the one that we needed. And then what we decided with the crew is we needed a different kind of ear tag to indicate that this is the guy that hasn't dropped yet. So what we decided to do is put one tag on each ear because we have nothing like that tagged here. And then I'll make a note in my litter log, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, 
that this is uh, what's going on with this specific litter, that he has this tag for this reason. Yeah, we'll also need to watch him because he'll be at a breeding age yeah. at about nine to 10 weeks. So we wanna make sure he's separated from his sisters before then too. So we're gonna ear tag him and then we're gonna move on to our next project. Um, sorry. Ears are so tiny. Supply. Uh, this is their Y-Tech uh, gun. This is my favorite all-time ear tagging gun. These probably came from there too. I also buy from QC Supply. That's my number one choice. These are actually sheep tags if you want to follow the same program. So thank you for watching this ear tag. Now we're going to move on to some other fun. Come join us. <laughs>